I have to strip. Apparently I need a pap smear. I did not know this, so. I did not want tools being shoved up in my vagina. About to erupt you could just tell so she has summered down thankfully uh... <laughs> I'm here. she's like terrified of the car seat like she wants to know someone's next to her at all times i gotta make this sweet and simple like i can't even do an intro anymore guys so this is probably gonna be a quick simple and easy vlog just because uh my ceo here my beo ah, you like that is uh not having it like really not having it right now for today's vlog we are on our way to the OBGYN appointment again you're probably like why are you seeing the ob again you're not even pregnant well there are appointments after pregnancy to, for the doctor to check up on you make sure everything is a-okay for this doctor's office i say that because every doctor's office has their own protocols procedures you know to each his own we had to come in at two weeks postpartum and now this is the six weeks postpartum you're probably wondering i didn't get a chance to see the two week postpartum vlog yeah i didn't record a thing guys i was just still getting used to motherhood i was juggling everything i'm still juggling look at that like juggling giving this baby like some good air right now oh my god my arm is <sighs> my arm is exhausted from holding up this camera right now like gonna be easy but I am looking forward to the challenge so there are a couple concerns oh here goes the yard that oh. I do have to talk to the doctor about such as my breast after six weeks of you know pumping breastfeeding all that fun stuff I'm about to quit like I am in pain wearing this shirt right now wearing bras are painful wearing any type of clothing on top of my breast is painful so that doesn't seem normal a lot of people are going to tell me oh you just need to massage them you need to put heat yes those are all great ways to help resolve this i love you i love you i'm here i'm right here i'm right here mommy's right here mommy OBGYN appointment I have to strip apparently I need a pap smear I did not know this so all you future moms six weeks so we are back in the car Paul has yep. successfully tamed his daughter yep while we were in the doctor's office she kept kind of you know Rrr. hand sanitizer oh, it's spilling everywhere Don't forget to wash your hands. Work them fast. Work them fast. Anyway. So before Miss Thing over here starts screaming her head off, we went into the doctor's office. I was told to strip down because I was going to get a pelvic exam. I was not excited for that. The doctor literally didn't give me any time to strip down. As you guys saw, she was already coming in. And I was just like, oh, I'm so sorry. Like, I'm not ready yet. 
and she was like, oh, you're fine. We're just checking out your scar. I was like, oh my God, praise the Lord, because I did not want tools being shoved up in my vagina right now. So we were there, she checked out my scar, she said it looked beautiful. I know, I tried. And then she cleared me for all physical activity, like I am good to do anything and everything, which is great. And I did talk to her about my boobies. My boobies. My boobies. She gave me a number to call, a lactation consultant, like let's check this out. She looked at my breasts, she said they look great, like no infection thankfully. Um, but she did say I may have some minor clogged ducts here and there and I'm not fully emptying my breast whenever I am pumping or having her latch on. So that's probably the reason why I'm in such discomfort. Like right now I'm wearing this shirt. It hurts. It's stinging. It's burning. Like, oh my gosh. You know, she just said, she's like, I think you have an amazing milk supply. It's fully coming in by now. And she's just like... You probably have to pump a lot more. Now, I do have one little issue. I did try to space out my pumping sessions like every four to five hours. I know some people may be like, what? Now, some of you guys who are never been parents, never been a mom, perfectly fine. It's typical to pump every two hours. I know, it's a lot. And it was just getting tedious for me. So I was like, you know what? I'll just push it back to four to five. I guess my body does not agree with that. I have to go back to every one to two hours and pump because apparently that's just how much milk my boobs are making. So, Sushi, are you happy? You better be happy with that. So, uh, she has started. But we are moving the car, so when the car is moving, she gets a little bit better. Give me a minute, guys. I gotta comfort her before you guys. She comes first. So guys, for you, it's been a couple seconds. For me and Paul, it's been like 20 minutes of nonstop crying. She loves the car now, officially. If Paul stops, she is screaming her head off. <laughs> and Paul is stopped at a stoplight, and I'm over here. Paul, I don't care what you have to do if you have to ram the person in front of you, but girl, she's crying like crazy. So now we're on the highway, and she is a good. Guys, I'm gonna be honest. It took so many spoons out of me. I am exhausted. I told Paul, I was like, she sucks the life force out of me. Like, oh my gosh, I have to be on my toes. So I just wanted to do a small, quick, simple vlog. I'm out for the count. This is what it is to be a mommy with chronic illnesses, but I won't lie, I enjoy every minute of it. Like. She brightens my day, even though somewhat she like traumatizes me with her screaming and high-pitched voice. I, I just cannot not be near her. Like I love when she's just by my side. And even when she's sleeping, I'm like, I miss you, wake up. It's uh, it's cute. So guys, this is where I'm gonna end it. I, I just gotta keep it short, sweet, and simple. This is how it's been the past couple of weeks. Now you guys can see how overwhelming we are, how much we have on our plate, and how little time we have for ourselves. But do not worry, we're gonna keep it going with these vlogs. But stay tuned, let me still get used to things, because having a newborn is a whole different type of world. So guys, for now, it is so bumpy, I'm so sorry. Adieu and goodbye.